What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe. And also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss out on any future videos just like this one. Anyways, today we're going to be getting into three reasons why you're broke and how to avoid it. So this video isn't meant to insult any of you guys and isn't meant to look down on anybody. It's actually meant to help you guys because sometimes people don't realize why they're broke. So that's what I'm here for, to make you realize what's the reasons that you're broke and how you can avoid them. So let me get to the first reason why you're broke. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna list all three reasons right now. However, you gotta watch the whole video to understand how to avoid them. So the first one here is you have a poor mentality. And a poor mentality leads to, I almost did not know how to spell that right. A poor mentality leads to spending money incorrectly because if you have a poor mentality, you're probably out here thinking you could spend money on sneakers, on clothing, on going out, going to the bar, going out to drink, going to the clubs and all that. That's having a poor mentality which leads you to spending money incorrectly. Or maybe even the third reason is you don't know how to invest your money if you have some or even if you don't have any at all because you don't even need to have money to invest. So a poor mentality leads to spending money incorrectly which leads you to not knowing how to or not being able to invest your money because you don't have any to spend. So how do we fix a poor mentality? I'm gonna go ahead and erase this for now and then I'll go ahead and put it back up later. So first let's figure out the problem. What is the poor mentality part? The poor mentality is you're buying clothes, right? You're buying clothes, you're buying shoes, you're going out to eat, you're paying for vacations. These are all things that are a poor mentality because you shouldn't be spending money on these things if you're broke. Most people think that having nice things, people are gonna value you different. So you have nice clothes and nice shoes, okay, yeah, it's a flex, right? Which if you guys don't know what a flex is, it's pretty much like showing off. Most people probably go out to eat to nice places for flexing, to flex that they have money to spend on these things. Or going on vacations to take pictures and post it on Instagram to flex. So what do we have to do? Stop showing off to people that you have money when you really don't. Like, what's the point of showing them that you don't have it? Because when it comes down to it, okay, you go out with your friend and you guys go to pay a bill and you don't say anything, it looks so bad on you. Like, you're gonna let him pay the whole thing. It looks terrible and you're really just showing off for nothing because at that moment you don't have it and you actually end up looking bad. So what's the point of trying to show off in the first place, which is where the poor mentality starts off. So my message to you as to the first problem is to stop caring about what other people think about you because in the end, it does not matter. Make millions and then you can flex it. And even then, millionaires don't even flex because they don't have to, they know they have it. So overall, I recommend you to just stop doing that because that's the only way you're gonna fix your poor mentality. Aside from actually talking to yourself and changing your mentality and just trying to better yourself every day instead of showing off for people. So the second problem, it's spending money incorrectly because here's the problem with this. A lot of people think, like I said, they think they have money to spend, but in reality they don't. So let's say you have a thousand dollars, right? You go to the club every single weekend. You're spending at least in a big city. Let's say you spend a hundred dollars for the whole month, right? Boom. Now you're left with nine hundred dollars. Now you gotta go ahead and buy sneakers for these two, which sneakers cost around $150, cause you know, you guys like to show off and look good at the clubs. You're like at, oh, that's actually 750. You're at $750, right? Now you have to pay rent. Let's say it's $500. Now you're left with $200. That's broke. Because what if your car breaks down? What if you have a car and your car breaks down? This right here, is not enough to pay for your car. I don't even think you can buy a single tire with $200, like a good tire at least, because you buy the cheap ones, you're just gonna keep going to the repairs all the time. So this is where the spending money incorrectly goes. So how do you fix this problem about spending your money incorrectly? So first things first, you have to know how much you spend. The main way to do this is to budget. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and capitalize that because a lot of people don't do this. Which if you guys don't know how to do this, I actually made a video in the past about this and it's 100% guaranteed to help you save money, invest it later on, and also pay off your bills and pay the things that you need such as your necessities, gas, and all that other stuff. I will actually link that video right up in one of these two corners. I don't know where the eye is, but it's gonna be linked up there. And the way this is gonna help you, your income is gonna be categorized into certain categories and you can only spend a certain amount and you can't go over that amount because if you go over, then you're really not budgeting. You're, there's no point in even doing this. 
The main thing is being dedicated to it. Like I said, go ahead and watch the video. It's one of these two corners for that. For me to go over in this video would take too long, so that's why I'm sending it over to that video. And last but not least is not knowing how to invest your money. So the problem a lot of people have is that they don't know how to invest their money if you do have it, but in this case you're broke, so you don't know how to invest your money. So here's the problem. People think they need money to invest However, that isn't the case. You can literally make money without having any money. And I know I just linked the video, but I did make a video on how to make money with zero dollars. It's gonna be linked in one of these two corners. However, if you do have money and you don't know how to invest it, which is a very common problem, don't get me wrong, I've had the same problem. I'm here to help you fix it. So basically, what you have to do, it's not really just, it's not a formula of this, but it's something that you have to realize within yourself. Figure out what you actually like to do, right? Figure out what you have a passion for. So for example, I love sneakers, right? Let's say stock X didn't exist or GOAT, right? So maybe back in the day, I was looking to invest my money and I had a lot of money from reselling sneakers, right? So I probably would have put my money into an app, right? That is like a stock market. So pretty much my app is like a broker app for sneakers, which is what StockX is. It's a sneaker stock market. And they're the middleman and they make a percentage of every sale that goes through them. So that's one way, that's one crucial, like I know this would probably take a lot of money, but you can even start on a smaller scale. So for example, let's say you're a girl watching this, you can go ahead and make like little necklaces, right? That's supposed to be a necklace, guys, by the way. You can make little necklaces, which first, what well, you're going to need money to make the necklace, which then you make the necklace, you post it on a website, right? I'm just going to go ahead and draw like a little, that's supposed to be your desktop. And then you make a sale. So pretty much you're spending money to make you money, which in the end, it doesn't have to be anything big. If you have a passion for it, eventually you're gonna find a way to make money out of it and you're gonna find a way to scale it which will make you hundreds and not thousands and not millions of dollars because you never know what can happen with idea. Like look at Amazon. Jeff Bezos started off with just selling books online and now he's literally selling everything from books to services. Like it's insane. There's really no limit. The only limit is your mentality which again goes back to my first example which is your poor mentality. Just think optimistic. Stop spending your money incorrectly and start investing it in things that's gonna make you more money. That way you have more money later on. Uh, that thousand dollars, that's a hundred. Let's just say a hundred, you make it two hundred. And let's say you had a thousand, you can make it two thousand. If you did it with a hundred, you could do it with a thousand. If you did it with a thousand, you could do it with ten thousand. If you did it with ten thousand, you could do it with a million. It's just a matter of making a money machine business in the end of the day. And that's pretty much it guys. If you guys feel like I brought value you guys, please make sure to like this video because that will let me know that you guys are enjoying these videos as well. And if you didn't like it for any reason or you didn't feel like I brought you any value, then go ahead and give it a thumbs down. That's fine too. But just let me know in the comments below why that is. Let me know why you left that dislike or why you disagree with me or whatever you feel the reason that you dislike this video for. I'm fine with talking to you through the comments. I don't mind. I like debating. I like talking. Maybe you can teach me something or maybe I can teach you something that you didn't know or maybe that I didn't know. And also, don't forget to subscribe and also turn on your post notifications so you guys don't miss out on any future videos that I drop just like this one. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.